Hey, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create one of the most important organizing solutions. This is a must have for every single household, and that is a command center. It doesn't matter if you're single or married with a ton of kids. It doesn't matter if you're retired or you're just starting out in life. Everybody needs a command center. This is where you're going to keep all of that information that you need to organize your home. That could be bills that need to be paid or reminders, notes, calendars. It's a place like a one-stop information hub in your home so your entire family can stay organized. And usually you want to create it exactly where you naturally pile these type of papers. I'm going to show you four different examples of command centers so you can really see what's going to work best for you, but everybody's command center is going to be different. You might want to use pieces of these different examples I'm going to show you. There's no wrong way to create a command center. I'm talking to you perfectionists. This is about creating a home. This is about creating a more organized life. It saves you time, saves you effort. It just gives you a peace of mind because everything that's important and needs to be remembered is in one place. We're going to start by showing you the perfect organizing solution for a bee organizer. A bee is a visual organizer that loves details. They're really meticulous. They like lots of categories. So behind me is the perfect command center. The most important thing that you can do as a visual organizer is make sure that your command center is up on the wall so it's really visual. And my favorite thing to use are these wire magazine racks. I love them for bees because they make your papers really visual, but you can also add folders, lots of folders. So you can have as many categories as possible and you can add pretty folders so it really matches your decor. This is the perfect spot for kids' artwork or bills that have to be paid reminders, all the paper clutter that's usually a pile, put it up on the wall in your new command center as that visual reminder of things that you have to do. It's also really critical if you're a visual organizer to have bulletin boards, whether it's magnetic boards or push pins, you need a place for things like your calendars or reminders, memos, notes, your to-do list, maybe it's your menu planner. Here in my office, I love using post-it notes because my employees a B and visual. And so having post-its up on the wall it reminds us of what we're working on, what we need to work on. We can easily move them around, but really be that visual cue that we need. I have four different command centers in my home, but I wanted to show you this one as a great example for a visual B organizer, because sometimes I think people think visual organization looks like clutter. But your command center can look like part of your decor. It can be beautiful and functional. It can be something that reminds you of what you need to do or what you're working on or bills that need to be paid and still look beautiful. That's what organization is all about. But if you don't want a command center on the wall, I'm going to show you a hidden one that's perfect for a ladybug. This little command center is perfect for ladybug organizers. A ladybug is a hidden organizer. They don't want to see their stuff, but they need really fast, simple solutions and not a lot of categories. That's why this really works. This is where I was naturally piling all of my bills and things I had to read. So it's where I created my little bill paying command center. And I only have four file folders. That's it. One for to do, one for file, one for to pay, and one for to read. If I had more categories than that, I would just get overwhelmed. If something is hard for a ladybug to put away, if they have to stop and think, they just won't do it. So if I have a receipt that I need to file, it goes into do or to file. If I have a bill that needs to be paid, it goes into pay. I can't sort into lots of categories, which is why a system like this really works for me. I also love having other little sections in this organizer so that I can have a spot for all of my to do's and all the little things that I want to remember to accomplish this week, but I don't have to have a bulletin board up on the wall. I also have a spot that I call my little bill paying station where I keep my checkbook and extra envelopes and stamps so I can just take things out of to pay, pay it, slap it if I need to mail it into an envelope with a stamp. 
everything's organized in one location and that's what a command center is all about. It's about gathering everything that normally would just be clutter and creating a home for your important papers. An important thing you need to remember when creating your command center is to get an organizing solution that keeps your papers vertical. So your file folders vertical, not stacked like this. There are organizers that you can kind of file all your paper in a horizontal way, but this makes things hidden. And you're more likely just to stack things on the top. Whereas if they're vertical, you can flip through quickly. You can see what you have and see where to file things. And remember this little tidbit, Vertical is visual and horizontal is hidden. And you always want to make sure your filing system is vertical. This command center is perfect for a butterfly organizer. A butterfly is someone who's really visual, but they need simple, broad categories. So fast organization, which is why I love this. It's on the wall. It's really visual, but it has big buckets, big containers to drop in those large categories of papers. Almost all kids are butterflies. So we made this for my kids for back to school and it has everything a butterfly needs. It has the big categories to put in papers that need to be signed or dealt with, spots for schedules and newsletters. Kids artwork definitely has a home library books is that visual reminder to put it back in your backpack, but it also has whiteboards. So you have that little note that you can write or that reminder to yourself all in one place. We're loving this for back to school. It's gonna stop the clutter that's usually on the counter of all the things that kids come home with. And it's giving it a designated home right by the door where we would naturally pile it anyways. If you are a butterfly, a system like this will definitely work for you. These are two great options for a Cricut command center. Cricut is a really detailed person. They love a ton of categories. They're a bit of a perfectionist, but they also want their things hidden out of sight. So all of their paper piles can now have a home in these simple vertical file folders. Either an accordion or a little file box gives a home to things like coupons or bills that have to be paid, papers that have to be filed or read, or just random notes that you've taken. Instead of looking at paper piles, you can still see everything in a vertical file box like this, but it's hiding away the paper clutter. I wanted to show you this last command center just so you could see that it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It's important to know your organizing style, but it isn't the be all end all. You may have different people in your home with different styles, or you may be a combination of different things. This is my kitchen command center. And even though I'm a ladybug, it's really visual. It has our family calendar. It has a spot for coupons and little notes and our meal planners and our shopping list. But I've kind of hidden it behind the corner on the side of the fridge. But the point is, I don't want you feeling like you have to follow an exact plan of your command center. Let your clutter tell you what you need when it comes to running your household and being organized. Don't worry what it looks like. Worry about how it functions. You know your family better than anyone and you know what your needs are. So when you're looking at a command center, think about all the things that run your household, where they are now and how you can consolidate it into one organized place. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button so I know to make more videos just like this. And definitely subscribe because each and every week I'm gonna give you more easy organizing tips for your home. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. Recently, my family went to Canada's Wonderland, which is an amusement park like with thrill rides here in Canada. It's like a, a crappier Cedar Point or Six Flags, but I learned something about myself and that is I've changed. I used to be such a thrill seeker. I think about my youth. Not only did I love roller coasters, I car surfed. Don't don't ever do that if you're watching in heaven. It was stupid. I jumped off bridges. I did insane things with zero regard for myself. Now I can barely ride the baby coaster that literal babies are on without feeling like I'm gonna die. I felt sick. I felt car sick. I was so scared. I screamed myself hoarse. I guess I'm wondering if you've noticed things about yourself like this too. Like, did you used to be really adventurous? I used to be a per I thought I was going to backpack across the world. I did. I lived in a tent for two years, lived out of a backpack, just hitchhiked all over the place. Now 
I get a sore back with one night in a hotel room and I just dream about my own pillow in my own bed. I don't like to leave the house, period. I am the least adventurous person I've ever met. I do not know what happened to me. I was cool. I was a free spirit. Now I'm a nerd that makes checklists for everything and has to write a packing list before I go away for a weekend. What? has happened to me. Is it because I'm getting older? I don't know. Is it because I'm, I, I don't know, more anxiety? Let me know in the comments below. If you, is this a midlife crisis? Where's my cool? I've lost my cool, you guys. I'm surprisingly okay with it though. Let me know in the comments below if you can relate and why you think this is, and I'll see you guys next time.